a mama and papa are rolling stones. <laughs> Woo! That's 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 that's, a, that's deep. Let's get it in. Let's go. Messy and motivational. Back again. How you doing, lady? I'm doing good. Doing good. Just checking out some letters for the day and ready to get into it. Yo, uh, you know, one of my favorite old school songs is Papa Was a Rolling Stone. But mm. what happens when it might not just be Papa? Uh-oh. And that's where we get into today's letter with the title, I'm a 23-year-old male who found out that both my parents, who are both in their late 50s, oh. are cheating on each other. Uh-oh. What should I do? And an infidelity post from Reddit. <laughs> Whew. Let, let's, let's, let's continue. <laughs> okay. So I'm a 23-year-old male, found out that both my parents, both late 50s, are cheating on each other. Since the pandemic, I've been living with them, and I noticed that both have affairs. It's a weird situation because I feel... I shouldn't be so upset about it since I'm not a kid anymore. But every time I catch them doing shady stuff, it makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> they definitely don't know I know, and I have <laughs> proof that Ching has been going on for years. Wow. How should I approach the situation? Should I confront them and unveil the whole thing, or should I be quiet and go on with my life and pretend it doesn't exist? I will eventually move back to my place in another city for my last year of university, and I'm sure this won't affect my mental health as much once I'm away. I don't know. I, I've been in situations where the truth coming out has made things worse for everybody. Mm. That's why I'm hesitant to do something. In their 25 years of marriage, I've never seen them happy together. No kissing. They're polar opposites, and they argue a lot. Also, this is really important right here. They pay my rent. Oh, what by? Right, right now, I can't get a job and be fully independent until I graduate. For everyone thinking this is a major reason to do one thing over the other, I can guarantee it isn't. Even if things were south, even if things went south, they would still pay my rent because they both want me to graduate from college mm -hmm. more than anything. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't so important for them, I would have quit after the first year what should i do so mama and papa are rolling, rolling stones, stones. <laughs> Woo! That's, 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 a, that's deep mind your own business finish college and go on about your life mama and daddy are in their 50s and while a lot of people may look at this and say they've been married for 25 years they should know better they should know that this isn't supposed to happen in a the marriage. They should have their ish together. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of times you think that you guys are on the same page in your relationship and one person's on a completely different page. The other person is in a completely different book and you didn't, and you guys don't even realize it. Marriage is a, a daily work, work. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a daily, um, um, help me out. I, I don't know where you're it, going with that it, one. Oh, marriage is a, is a thing that you have to work out work on daily. daily. I was okay. trying to find a different word, but that's okay. what, basically what I'm saying. She's trying to complicate things. Oh, no, no, like, no, no, work. no. Maybe Ooh. I was just looking for a fancier Ooh. word for this young guy, Ooh. but that's, that's just what I mean. You have to work on your marriage. <laughs> work, versus work on it look, every day. <laughs> it don't matter if you've been married 25 years, two years, two months, two days, 30, it don't matter. You have to work on it every single day of the week or else you will find yourself in a different book and in a different chapter. So my thing is if it's, if it's not making things, you know, hell, if it's not making things, things pure hell in your atmosphere, then just leave it alone. Don't confront it. Don't ask mama in front of daddy who she dating don't ask daddy in front of mama who he's smashing just leave it alone hmm interesting um 
I want to go in a completely different direction just because that's kind of. Just because that's just because you want to do what you want to do. <laughs> that's kind of what we do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Can't never agree with a sister, I, but okay. I, I would say definitely address the issue for your own mental health. I mean, at this point, they know you're grown. Yeah, y- know. You know they they're know grown. You. First things first, before you even go there, I need you to understand one thing. It sounds like this has been going something going on for years. So this is definitely not your fault. So when you're dealing with a cheating father or dealing with a cheating mother, cheating parent, just in general, a lot of times kids begin to blame themselves. And this has nothing to do with you. But this is something that was a personal decision by both your father and mother. So kind of get beyond that. It even though it's it's a shameful situation, don't allow that shame to be laid all out on you because you can feel it. It's got to be a, one heck of a thing to know that both your parents are cheating on each other. And that's something that may come out to your friends, family, loved ones and may cause some form of shame. So just realize that no matter what they do that doesn't reflect on you because they're adults and they have to make their own decision. And it's okay to be angry about the situation. Don't feel like it's something where you just got to sit there and be like, you know, I'm cool with it. It it brings up emotions. It brings up animosity. And these are things that, you know, potentially they, they may have given you this, this ideal idea of marriage when all along both Mama and Papa were, were doing their thing. Open marriages are real, as, as yeah. Rochelle mentioned. Mm-hmm. So just some things to, to be aware of. And before you address them, maybe you might need to talk to someone who's trusted, maybe a counselor or, or a friend, somebody close. Get with somebody you can trust because this is going to take some working out on your own. Be, be cautious. Most people don't realize if you check a lot of survey, a lot of data, I don't have everything right in front of me. But when it comes to cheating parents, so a cheating father or a cheating mother, that typically leads downstream to their children. So you have to be cautious that you don't want the the affairs of your parents to manifest themselves in your life so you'll hear like the term generational curse etc so you you have to make that decision to make sure that you don't let what they're doing cause turmoil in your own life your own existence just own it but i would definitely at least address it with them and i probably wouldn't do the whole thing together Together. i would not be like mom and dad y'all cheating stop it I, i would go to them individually say hey you know, it, it's been years. I, I've seen, you know, the, the lack of intimacy and I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I, I see what's going on and I'm trying not to let it bother me. But, you know, just kind of be honest, be transparent. And hopefully your parents will respect that you came to them and have that honest adult conversation with you. So if it's something that's bothering you like that, I would definitely address it. And any final thoughts there? You never know what mom and dad are going through and what caused them to actually get to this point. Right. And I'm afraid that if he addresses it, um, there's just going to be some things that maybe come out that you won't even you won't even understand. He ain't gonna all. be ready. He ain't gonna be ready for it. You ain't gonna be ready for the. You ain't gonna be ready. ready. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna be ready for the real. So. You know, like I said, if we have two different views, like I said, if it were me, I would just back completely off because grown folk do whatever grown folk want to do, and married life ain't for punks. So, there you all go. right, and that is a wrap right here on Messy and Motivational, where when life gets messy, we try to motivate you through the process. Each week, we come to you locally here in Central California on CMAC. We also release daily episodes just like this Mm -hmm. reading letters talking about relationships and more on youtube there like you're seeing on the screen you can find us by searching hashtag messy motivate a listing of our videos will pull up and then of course from there once you see the video any support you can give us by subscribing would be much appreciated also, for those of you that like podcasts, etc., we are on a lot of streaming services like Spotify, Anchor, and more. So search Messy 
and motivational or hashtag messy motivate and we're definitely there for you any final words before we check up out of here say peace final words you know just uh focus on yourself focus on your own well-being you're young you're very young you have a long life ahead of you uh let mom and daddy work it out on their own all right and that's a wrap right here on messy and motivational